2016. And policy briefs are an important instrument for us to bring across our research results in a very condensed matter and to inform and give out opinions about uh, single policy issues. The goal of this webcast is to give you an idea of how to write a policy brief. I will therefore cover four uh, questions. First of all, what is a policy brief? Second of all, what should a policy brief do? I mentioned a little bit of that briefly already earlier. Uh, third, what should a policy brief look like? And fourth, how do I actually write a policy brief? Um, I would like to underline the fact that a policy brief is a little bit like an elevator pitch which means that you have about the time of an elevator ride to convince someone of your policy idea. Um, a policy brief is a very short paper of two to three pages so that you really have to focus on one uh, single topic that you would like to deal with in this paper. And I think it's also important to keep in mind that a policy brief is a very different kind of text than other assignments that students usually have to uh, complete uh, during their studies. Because while academic papers are analyzing past developments, policy briefs are there to deduct recommendations for the future based on an informed analysis of the present in a specific policy area. For this uh, webcast, I would like to use an example, namely um, a policy brief that I'm currently writing with uh, a colleague of mine from Romania and which is dealing with uh, policy recommendations for a reform of the Eastern Partnership, um, a policy that is dealing with the relationship of the EU with the countries of Ukraine, Moldova and Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan and Belarus, and where after the Riga summit we are um, giving some recommendations on how the Eastern Partnership could be reformed based on the assumption um, that can be derived from the Riga summit that um, in fact uh, there is not at the moment a perspective for membership for countries like Ukraine, Georgia and Moldova who have already signed an association agreement. So I will refer back to this example um, from time to time. The first question, what is a policy brief? The idea is that it should provide enough background for the reader to understand the problem that you are dealing with, um, but it should not refer back to academic um, theories or a theoretical assumptions. It should not explain uh, the obvious. You have in a policy brief to convince the reader that the problem that you are dealing with in your paper has to be addressed urgently, so that it's a timely topic that has to be dealt with now, and not something that you think in general should be done. The policy brief can either provide alternatives, so say that either it would be good to change the policy concerning the countries of Ukraine, Moldova and Georgia and give them a membership perspective after all, um, and then uh, lobby for this idea towards the governments of those member states of the EU that are currently not supporting this. Or if you assume that this is not a path that you want to take or a path that is very likely to be successful, then you can um, choose to give um, <coughs> evidence to support one alternative, namely in our case the fact that we think that uh, a membership perspective is not only um, something that can find a majority in the EU currently, but also maybe not the ideal um, instrument to support these countries in their transformation process. Finally, a policy brief should um, stimulate the reader to make a decision. So based on the fact that he realizes that this topic is very urgent um, and that there are specific options on which way to go uh, in, the p in the future path, he should make a decision and use, um, in the ideal case, your information and your position in his policy making.